what is up guys welcome back to another year of MLB vlogs it is 2022 and we're already starting off the year we're at the New York Mets versus the Washington Nationals home stadium Nationals Park it is already Steven Strasburg bobblehead day it is only the second home game opening day was last night second game's already tonight and Max Scherzer is making his debut with the New York Mets so he's back in his home ballpark with a different team I'm pretty sure he's gonna have some electric stuff going tonight I'd be shocked if he doesn't uh, but two things I'm chasing tonight Juan Soto is on career home run number 99 and Nelson Cruz is on career home run at number 450 I'm currently seeing in section 105 tonight, right on the aisle. So, hopefully for an opposite field soda ball, hold down the line cruise ball, which is to be expected. But this should be a really good game. There is some rain also in the forecast for tonight. We'll see how that goes. Batting practice was pretty lame and also really, really crowded, which makes sense for a bobblehead game. But, hoping for another great year of vlogs. I'm going to try to do more around the stadium stuff. I've never really walked around the stadium or showed you guys any part of Nationals Park, which some of you might have never seen before if you've seen the vlogs, uh, if you've never been to Nationals Park as well. But hoping to add a few more stadiums, maybe hit up Pittsburgh this year, hit up Philadelphia, stadiums that I've been to but have not done vlogs at. So really looking forward to this year. Got some other games already planned on the schedule. Uh, we have a very fun surprise for a few minor league games coming up, but hope you guys enjoy the video. See you.
So guys, we are into the top of the fourth inning. It is 1-1 one, one ball game. I uh, just stopped to get myself a souvenir sprite and got a baseball grab bag. Game use baseball grab bag. It was $30. It does come with the ball cue, but I'll open it. I'll see what's inside of it. Supposedly a ball from either the 2019 all the way through 2011 season. So it's going to be a ball from any time during that. So I'm kind of intrigued what it's going to be. It also has a chance to be an autograph ball as well. So right now, the game has been kind of boring. The game was about a 10 minute delayed start because of a lighting issue. Wow, second game where Nats are already having lighting issues. That doesn't bode well. But both Gray and Serger are pitching phenomenal games right now as Robinson Cano just goes right up the middle and it's going to make it a 2-1 ball game for the Mets. Make that a 3-1 game as he scores all the way from second base. Great hustle right there. But yeah, now, now we're already up. 3-1 Mets, top of the fourth. It's not looking too good for the Nets so far, but We'll see what happens. A lot, of, a lot of game left. Still more than half the game left to go. We'll see what's gonna happen. guys, after about a 20 minute rain delay, they've pulled the tarp back off the field and they're going to resume the game. We're in the top of the ninth inning, score is 6-3 to three Mets. And as you can see, because of the horrendous downpour, there's no way left in the stadium. This game is supposed to be starting in 5 minutes at 11.55, 11.15. And it's 11:10 right now. 
And we have Let's Go the Mets cheer. Starting behind the third base dugout. Because all the Mets fans stayed, and there's nobody left here. There's nobody left. Everyone's gone. And this is exactly why you got to stay the whole time. Never leave. Never leave the game. Not for the sake of your team winning or losing, but just because of this experience. It's just the coolest thing in the world. You, it feels like you own the whole stadium to yourself. So that is the end of the game. The Mets win 7-3, and in a very empty stadium, I made the move to go over to the third base side because it was completely empty in hopes to gain a foul ball. Keeper Ruiz comes up and hits a foul ball in the alleyway, which some of you guys may know, where the presidents come in and out of on the third base side. And it landed somewhere over in that direction. Myself and three other guys run over towards it. We're looking around for it, scrambling around for it. Could not find it. We are literally there for probably about a good three, four minutes. Cannot find the ball. The ball did not roll down. The ball did not land in a cup holder. We could not find where it was. The lighting's getting a little worse. But all you need to know is, I found it. It was stuck, wedged in between the seat, and no one could see it. So, after no balls during batting practice, no balls throughout the entire game, through a rain delay, still managed to get a foul ball. Absolutely unbelievable. I'm hanging out, guys. It's getting late. I'm not going to get home to midnight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to do more videos. Have a good night.